scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Empowerment within and then now empowerment upon. Micah 3.8 Micah 3.8 The Spirit helpeth. But truly I am full of power. How? By the Spirit of the Lord, I am full of power, power to do, power to manifest, power to go to the nations, power to pray, power to heal the sick, power to redefine possibilities in the lives of people. No man was born automatically with power, ladies and gentlemen. Men and women, by blindly walking with this Spirit of grace, they encounter tremendous levels of power. I can tell you with all humility, if you truly encounter the genuine power of the Holy Spirit, not a semblance of it, your life will never be the same. Not as a preacher, not as a businessman. You may have heard me say it. He said, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. He does not anoint cups. The cup only shows what is on your head. If your cup is empty, don't blame the cup. It is that there is nothing on your head. You anoint my head. It is not my head that shows it. My cup runneth over. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. We're going to pray now. Look at what the Bible says. This will be my parting scripture. I can do what an arrogant statement. How can a man stay in the world of men, Pastor Jerry, and dare to make such a statement? You can do all things. Do you know how many things are there to be done? I can do all things means I can go anywhere. I can see anybody. How dare you make such a statement? Where did you come from? Who is your father? What leverage did he give you? Yet the apostle will say, regardless what you bring before me, here is my verdict. I can do how many things? <laughs> now listen, listen, listen. You go and stand in front of the road in your city and shout this statement and see how many people will look at you and say i used to respect you thinking you are humble but i'm disappointed you can do all things how do you talk to a man who does not want to talk to you it's part of all things how do you raise the money to build something of a, a multi-billion project with integrity how do you lay hands on someone who has been sick for 25 years stage 4 cancer i can do all things please hear me run conference i came to release a grace on you tonight please listen please listen i want to show you a mystery and then we'll pray i can do all things who makes such a statement in our world today did you not know what happened during covid you can do all things are you the one who keeps your life? Paul would say, I can do all things. 
if he stopped there, we would have edited that statement and charged him for foolishness, immaturity, pride, and the manifestation of the flesh. If Paul stopped there with those five words, we would even legitimately edit that and strike it and say in learning Paul, learn other aspects, but when you get here, jump it. But here is my message tonight. Leave the first five, read the remaining. One, two, read. Through Christ. One more time. Now read the first five, then finish it with the first five. Are you ready? One, two, read. You didn't get it right. Through Christ, which strengthened me, I can do all things. So he tells you, if you see me moving from nation to nation, be careful while you clap. Explain there is an agency. When you see that I can do all things, it is not because I am sufficient in myself. I have found a secret in the spirit that the Christ can strengthen a man. That Christ can strengthen a business, can strengthen a man of God, an ordinary man. You can dare to say regardless the causes, regardless the limitations within my city, regardless what they think can come out or cannot come out of me, that here is my verdict on the strength of this revelation. I can do all things, not some things. To say some things will be limiting the power that backs me. Through Christ, through Christ, which strengtheneth me. So when you hear the testimonies that happen through the prayer platforms, when you see the mighty things that God is doing through your ministry, thank God for the man, but make sure you look well. See the olive trees too. Make sure you look well and see that beyond ordinary men is a mighty God that stands behind them. No man can just make progress. Shabakatos kadebalakata. Men do not rise just by willpower. Hear me? It takes more than willpower. It takes more than determination. Every factor fails when the Holy Ghost is not there. Value fails when it's not there. Knowledge fails when it's not there. Skill will be barren and important when it's not there. Habarike sopras kadesh ekrokapatakatos katilakata. I can do all things. I can do all things. You may be ordinary, my precious brother, my precious sister. You may be ordinary, watching from across the globe, wondering, can anything good come out of my life? I introduce you to the minister of the helper, the paraclete. He is not a politician. He is not a king. He is not an elected person. The spirit of the living God who helps ordinary men to command tremendous levels of power. Can I tell you? Never laugh at a man who has submitted to the ministry and the help of the Holy Spirit. You will bury your head in shame for the rest of your life. Many of you will prefer running around looking for men and women of influence who can help you directly and yet ignore the greatest helper. Did the Bible not say except the Lord builds a house? It says they labor in vain. He never said they labor. They will not labor but it is in vain that build it. That except the Lord watches the city. The watchman watched but in vain. The Bible says that it is vain to wake up early in the morning. Nigerians hear me. And to sleep late at night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. Only God can give men rest. Man of God. Respectfully speaking. Please hear me. There is a fountain that is greater than your limitation. 
my uncle promised to give me money to build a church is a recipe for frustration when I send you lackest thou anything The helper we stand today by the privilege of God's grace as ordinary men who have been helped by God he signed his signature upon our lives that the nation may lend the spirit again that when an ordinary man unites with an extraordinary God the destiny becomes extraordinary so he says there is this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of power man of God hear me do not give up on your call and don't try to look for fame and try to move around saying invite me leave all that nonsense and stay with the Holy Spirit stay with the Holy Spirit you're a music artist don't jump from pillar to post saying stay with the Holy Spirit the greatest way to make yourself known is to make him known stay with the spirit of god in the place of prayer in the place of fellowship in the place of building you see let me warn you let me warn you walking with the holy spirit is usually not profitable when you start so i warn you so that satan who is the master of the flesh does not beguile you into naming your submission to him a waste of your time if it is God you are walking with, you will be a fool for a very long time before the wisdom behind his dealings with you is revealed. So I'm giving you a word of caution. <laughs> Jesus was born of the spirit, but it took him 30 years of living supposedly an aimless life. But at 30, when he came in power, in three and a half years, he wrote something that cannot be erased forever. When you walk with the Holy Spirit, let me tell you the truth, there is a side effect. Because you will have to give up on your will many times. And that will put you in a position of perpetual insecurity in the flesh. I don't know the name of where I'm going, but I trust you who is leading me. And like a baby who is walking, even in the midst of your confusion, one step after another, while people laugh at you, you keep following. At a time you will ask yourself, God, where are we going? What are you doing with my life? But I can leave you with an assurance. If it is the God of the Bible leading you, the day he presents you to your world like a trophy, he will sign upon your life and it will become clear to all men that the God of the universe has shown you help. Let's pray. The one you helped has come to worship you the one you helped has come to worship you you are helper you're my help You're my helper The one you've helped Has come to worship you The one you've helped I want you to pray a sincere prayer Lord, I lean not on my own understanding. I submit to the help of the Spirit. Someone open your mouth and pray. I submit to the help of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, come and help me in ministry. Come and help my family. Come and help my life. I'm tired of wallowing around in pride. I give up. I have guessed my own formula and done everything I know to do. It's only left me in pain. I submit to you, Spirit of the Living God, Maranatha. Come, come, come. Someone pray just for a minute from the depth of your heart. This is a mighty church of prayer.
Sabrakatos Katebelekatosha Frendas Kabelekatos. Ebrakata Pakarada Katosha Frantes Kabelena Katosh. Embreka de Katepakosha Lika Fresca Debelet. Help, O God. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. He said, From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Let me stand in faith with the grace that is upon this house and this altar and just speak over your life. Listen, some of you may need to go back and listen to this teaching again and cry before the Lord and say 2023 cannot be like 2022 again. I've seen the difference. I've seen how I walk by my own strength now I want the Holy Spirit to help me as a man of God you will preach and be tired you will do everything you do and be tired but when he comes Jesus said I have many things to tell you I have many things to show you hmm. but when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you very simple formula yet very difficult this is the reason why we do not glory in the flesh as much as we thank God for all the human honor, the applauds that we receive and to him be all the glory. But I tell you sincerely, any man who knows the Holy Spirit is helplessly submissive to him because to live without him is like standing in shame. You are programming shame to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand in partnership with the grace that is upon this house and I pray for someone maybe a man of God maybe a woman of God maybe a prophet maybe an apostle maybe a business person maybe a mother maybe a student maybe a politician or some head of parliament somewhere who is in need of potent results by the Spirit You've stretched yourself from pillar to post, from border to border. And now by this message, you have come to a point of acknowledgement that the missing factor in truth is the Holy Spirit. Maybe you have been pursuing power and you have ignored him. Remember what I taught you. You receive power after. That a relationship with him, embracing him as a, the helper who comes to help your limitation is the key to an enviable life i pray for you the grace to hunger after this ministry of the holy spirit receive it right now in jesus name some of you by this night you will return and the spirit of god will begin to reveal things to you he will open the pages of your destiny and with precision he will begin to guide you as a result of that guidance some of you will need to make a hundred and eighty degrees you turn because the direction you are currently following has nothing to do with your destiny may grace be revealed released upon you to make that turn if the need arises in the name of jesus christ it is my prayer that at the end of this year as a result of this conference that you will look at your life and it will be evident to you and to all that you have been helped by God. May Ebenezer rise for you. The one who helps men. The one who has helped your pastor, helped his wife, helped this ministry. I declare that he's helping you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you give me a minute, Pastor Jerry, to make an altar call? Will that be fine, please? I just sense in my heart, my apologies, I've stretched the time. I need to make an altar call when Pastor Jerry was prompting people. I heard so many people shouting from multiple overflows. And it is very important in a conference like this that when we gather and hear the word of God and pray and cry, it is important that we give people an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. So hear me, whether you are in the main auditorium or any of the overflows or perhaps you are watching from across the globe from europe um, america somewhere in africa or even in this nation 
We are getting to a time where we must never trivialize <laughs> salvation. Sometimes we make it look like the miracle of salvation is that cheap. It took Jesus' his life for that to happen. And there's someone who came for this meeting tonight who is saying, Apostle, if you will give me an opportunity, I truly want to make it right with Jesus. I do not want to leave this conference tonight without having a functional relationship with Jesus. Or there may be someone who is saying, I remember making this decision, but as it is right now, my life has gone haywire. Everything is scattered. I cannot even say that I have the assurance of salvation. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Now, here's what I want you to do for me. I will plead that in an orderly manner, those who are making that decision, if any, within this place, may I please request, if you can, to just gently step forward and come here. And all the other, all the other overflows, I want you to just step forward to the front of your LED screens. I'll just count one to five. I'm working on borrowed time. There has to be someone within this room and around who is saying, I want to make it right with Jesus Christ. There is no point pretending. Come. I'm counting one to five now. If you belong to that category, come. Let's celebrate them as they come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Streams of joy, is this the best you can do? God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Just spread yourselves here so that you don't inconvenience those who are standing. Thank you. Now, I see that the counselors are giving you a card. So whether you are here or those outside, for those who are making this salvation prayer, I believe that um, the various platforms that you're connecting from should give you a link where you indicate that you gave your life to Jesus Christ and then there will be a system to follow you up and you can indicate from whatever nation you're connecting from and that this is a decision that you made and the Lord himself will give you a new beginning. For all of you who are here, a form is being given to you now. I don't know if you will have all the time to fill it, but then I will pray with you and you are required to fill that form. And please, if and when you are called, your attention is called, do cooperate with all those who are responsible for the follow-up. This is for your salvation. I salute you on behalf of Jesus and even the angel over this house for making this bold decision to come to Jesus. Very quickly, let me request that you lift your right hand. You may just pause your filling the form right now. And all of you, I'm about to lead you to pray. Please make sure. Okay, I see an email there, salvation at streamsofjoy.org. So do well to send an email immediately and say, Pastor Jerry, I just made this decision for Jesus and I'm ready to walk with him all the days of my life and you will be followed up adequately. Say this after me, lifting your right hand as a sign of surrender. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have been convicted by your spirit. Right now, I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I am saved. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Your word declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. In the name of Jesus, I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. Receive the grace to walk in righteousness. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit and to the word of God. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Now very quickly, I'd like to request that you follow the aisles. There are people stretching their hands. 
either to my left or to my right. Let's celebrate them as they go. You will have a word very quickly with the counselors and then you will be back to your seat. Pastor Jerry, thank you again for this opportunity. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Wow, what a night. What a night. Would you rise on your feet wherever you are? Would you rise on your feet and just begin to just wave your hands and speak in the Holy Ghost? Can we just um, remain where we are and just give the opportunity for the man of God to just, um, uh, can we just wave our hands to God? Wave our hands to God. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Can you just go ahead and just wave your hands to Jesus? Wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. Just celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Wave your hands to the creator of the whole universe in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Just wave your hands to the Lord. What a night we have had. What a night of glory. What a night of power. What a night of the fullness of God. What a night of great grace the Lord has poured out on us. Just wave your hands and give the Lord all the glory. If you truly were blessed tonight, let the Lord see your gratitude as you're waving your hands to the Lord. Wave your hands to the Lord. Our Father, we bless you for tonight. We'll give you all the glory. We'll give you all the honor. We'll give you all the adoration. Father, thank you. We bless you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you because our lives will never remain the same again. Father, we give you all the honor. Thank you for the working of the Spirit. Father, thank you for the help, the guidance, oh God, the empowerment. Father, we give you all the glory. Can someone who was blessed tonight, can you thunder a louder amen? And I decree that whatsoever God has done and said to us remains permanent. For whatsoever God doeth shall be forever. Nothing shall be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men will fear before him. And we decree and declare, it is permanent in the name of Jesus. With your two hands lifted before the Lord, with a loud voice, can you declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Let your amen thunder louder. God bless you and see you tomorrow for another huge encounter in the presence of the Lord. God bless you and God bless you and God bless you. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.